Hey kids, and welcome to this week's lesson. I hope you are all doing well, as we're already in the middle of August, which is kind of crazy to think about. It seems like this year has just flown by pretty, pretty quickly. But this also means that you guys will be returning to school soon, and that the year is almost done, that there's just a few more months until a new year, which is absolutely crazy to think about. And with that, uh, here's a little quick recap of what we've been doing over these past few weeks. So, uh, if you've been follow following along, you'll know that we've been looking at some of my favorite Bible stories from week to week. Uh, the first week, we looked at Moses and par Moses part in the Red Sea. And last week, we looked at the story of David and Goliath. From those two weeks, we also learned that God is there for us when it seems like we're trapped or backed into a corner and have nowhere to go. And that when we put our trust and faith in God, he can help us do and accomplish great things that might seem impossible to do. So uh, this week, the story that we'll be looking at is another Old Testament story, uh, which happens much later uh, after the time of David and Goliath. Henry, what? I thought we talked about this. You're bored. Are, are you having fun at least, I guess? But Henry, we talked about this a few months ago. We, we have rules about throwing things. You, you're doing it because you're bored. Well, Henry, that wasn't very nice of you. I know, and I, I forgive you, but there's a reason we have rules, and there's a reason why we should follow them. I, I know. This is the last time, okay? Now, are you going to throw it? All right, now are you done? Do you promise to not throw cups again at me or around the place? All right. And well, actually, that, that kind of helps us with today's lesson, Henry. Yeah, see, we're talking about um, following God's instructions and, yeah, what it looks like when we follow God in different situations. So, yes, I should be thanking you for helping us introduce today's topic. All right, so... Are you going to go sit down and listen to today's story? All right. Can you say bye to the kids? All right. As Henry goes to find a comfortable spot, we'll, we'll get into today's story. So today's story is about a man named Daniel. And this story includes Daniel's friends. See, this story takes place shortly after the nation of Babylon, which is a big and powerful nation, captures the king, not captures, but captured the kingdom of Judah. And once Babylon had captured the kingdom of Judah, the king, whose name is Nebuchadnezzar, which is a big name, and I'll have it down here to help you uh, know the name and to help you uh, pronounce it and know how it's spelled. Uh, he ordered and instructed people uh, to be brought back to Babylon to learn about the Babylonian uh, lifestyle and the Babylonian way so they could teach uh, those people in Judah uh, to live lives under the Babylonians. So it wasn't uh, a hard or long transition, but it would be smooth and there wouldn't be too much backlash. Now, one of these instructions was to eat uh, what the king ate and to drink wine just like the king. Now, Daniel and his friends, uh, who were named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, refused to eat what the king ate, and they refused to drink wine. So they asked uh, those in charge of them, or their instructors, if instead they could eat vegetables and drink water. Uh, Daniel and his friends asked for this to not defile their bodies or put anything bad in their bodies, which is a good thing. 
The instructors agreed, but only if after 10 days of this different diet of veggies and water, uh, Daniel and his, if Daniel and his friends were in worse shape, they'd eat and drink what they were originally supposed to eat and drink. Uh, so that they wouldn't be an embarrassment to the king. Uh, Daniel's friends agreed, and they went, on, they went on their way. So after 10 days, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were all healthier and in better shape than the others who had just been uh, eating what the king ate and drinking wine. They were all healthier in better physical condition and, yeah, looked a lot better. Uh, and this was compared to the others who were captured. So the king saw this and ordered that all, all those who were captured from Judah and brought back to the Babylonian way uh, would eat veggies and water, uh, just go on that diet, like Daniel and his friends. Uh, now, because Daniel and his friends' commitment to the Lord, uh, because of that commitment, they were blessed by the Lord with wisdom and knowledge, making them favorable in the sight of the king. And this allowed them to get uh, pretty good uh, positions and uh, allow them to work their way up in the king's rankings and uh, become advisors for the king. So this is one of my favorite stories because it shows what it's like to have friends that you can trust and that trust you. Uh, when you're growing up and making friends, that's an important part of life and being able to have friends uh, like Daniel is awesome because it shows how much they care for you and shows that they also want the best for you. Now, from this story, we also learn that when we follow God's instructions and not give in to kind of the pressures of the world, God will bless us and help us. Much like we've been learning over these past few weeks, God is there for us no matter what when we put our trust in him and we follow his instructions for us, which is kind of cool because I didn't really plan to have this big theme of uh, God uh, putting our trust in God and God being there for us. This is just something that kind of came up naturally. So that's pretty cool that over these weeks, we've seen that God is there for us no matter what. And when we put our trust and faith in him and follow his instructions, he will help us accomplish so much. Um... Yeah, so that's pretty cool if you ask me. And again, it was something that I didn't plan or I didn't really think about as I was uh, looking at the stories and reading them over. Alrighty. Well, with that, I'll pray and then you guys can get on with your day. Let's bow our heads together. Dear God, we thank you for today and we thank you that we can put our trust and faith in you and that when we do this and we follow your instructions, you will help us out and you will help us accomplish so much. We thank you that you are always there for us and we thank you, um, yeah, that we can put our trust in you. And we also thank you for the friends in our lives like Daniel to help us not give into uh, the pressures around us, but instead help us keep us on uh, the path you want us to be on. We thank you and we pray and we pray this in your name. Amen. All right, kids, I'll see you around and I'll make sure Henry cleans up the cups that he's been throwing. Take care.